Email in Blogsy. In Blogsy, you can create richly formatted emails. Why would you want to do this? Well, if your blog platform is not supported by Blogsy, you can still use Blogsy to publish to your blog by sending it in the email. Most blogging port platforms support email to post. You can also send uh, richly formatted emails to your family and friends. So you can put images and format the text and send it to family and friends. And also services like MailChimp, for example, you could design a cool looking email and send to your subscribers in MailChimp. Okay, so let me give you an example. The way you do it is first in this main body, you write your email, put in all your images and everything, and you can format text. Text, you can see that I have the, uh, the font size here and images already in. So, whoops, let's select a word and let's just choose orange. Okay, just for the example. And now, once you have everything written up, just tap the envelope and it puts it right in your email. And you can just put in the email address and send it. It's as easy as that. There are a few things you need to be uh, aware of and they revolve around videos. So let me pull in a video here and let me show you. Okay, you can use the old embed code or the iframe code, but iOS in the email strips out the old embed code. So if you have your video set to the old embed code, it'll get stripped out when you try to email. So you can see here we have a message about this and you can choose to cancel this message and then go and actually change it to an iframe or you can just tap this button and it will automatically convert it to iframe and then it's in your post and you can see here it'll always be black that's the way it is but when it gets published to your blog post to your blog the video will be there um, so that's the iframe issue you need to worry about. Also, mail clients like Gmail and YouTube or Yahoo, they don't recognize the video embed codes. So if you're trying to email family and friends or business associates and you put in a video in like this, they're not going to see it. So in that case, the best thing to do is to create a link to a video. Oh, but first, let's get rid of this video here. We don't need this here, so I'll delete that. Now, let's open the YouTube, my uploads, and let's use that same one. Double tap on it. And here, let me, I need to show you this. So let me convert this back to mobile version. The first time you double tap on a video to load it up in the browser, it's going to go to the mobile site. Do not use the mobile as a link. If people receive this in an email and they click on it, they're going to end up in at a dead end. They won't end up at your video. So what you need to do is go down here in the bottom right hand corner and press desktop. And that'll turn it into the desktop version of YouTube. And this is what you can use to create a link. And the next time you do a video, here I can easily show you, the next time you do it, it'll also open to the desktop version. It remembers uh, what you set it as the last time. Okay, so now we close that, we choose a word that we want to use to link our video and open the browser. We've already got it loaded. Put your finger on the link drag and button and drag it over and let go. And now you can see it's created a link to that video. So if you're using email to and you want to share a, a, a YouTube video, then you need to actually create a link and not embed it into your, your email. And that's email in Blogsy.